With Metafields, I'm able to do things that I needed to hire web developers before to do. Metafields will give you the ability to customize your store as a pro without doing any coding. As an e-commerce store owner, most probably you don't care about anything but creating a highly converting, very well-designed Shopify store. And Metafields will help you exactly to do that without the need to hire anyone or to pay for anyone in order to design and modify your store. Shopify released a new update a few months ago. And this update is actually the biggest and boldest update in Shopify's history. I have talked before about this update many times on this YouTube channel. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about the best thing about this update and they are the meta fields. In today's video, I'm going to show you the different type of meta fields that you can create and I'm going to give you recommendations about how to use each one of them. But before starting with our video, there are three things that I want you to do. First, I want to invite you to like this video because by liking it, you will help me to reach more and more people. Second, I want you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way, you will get notified each time I publish a new video. And third, I want to invite you to sign up to my free workshop. In this free workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it sustainable and strong. So if you are looking to create a sustainable, strong e-commerce business, I highly recommend you to sign up to this free workshop. Remember, it's 100% free and you don't need to pay anything. Just go down and sign up and this is it. And now let's move to my screen to see the different meta field types and how to use them. So from your Shopify dashboard under settings, you go to meta fields. And here you can create for now meta fields for products and for variants. Later on, Shopify will allow us to create meta fields for collections, for customers and for orders. Let's go to products. And when we click on add definition, we can see from here the different types that we can create. Until now, I didn't find any use for the color meta field. If you have any idea, please let me know in the comment section below. The second meta field you have is date and time. And it goes without saying, it shows certain date and time that's very specific for each product. So if I created this meta field from here and I called it date and time, When I go back to my products, I can see that now for each product, I have a new characteristic, which is the date and time. You can use this meta field to tell your customers when a product, for example, is back in stock, or if you are launching a new product, this also could be the date of publishing the new product. Now going back to the online store, let me show you how you can add this meta field. This meta field is actually a text based meta field, which means you just need to add a text block and inside of this text block, you have to refer back to this meta field. I'm going to the product page. From here, I'm going to add a block and I'm going just to add a text. When I click on it from here, I can assign my new meta field, which is the date and time. So it's a text based meta field. The third type of meta fields we have is files. And this meta field is actually very useful because you can use files for things like size charts, maintenance guides, and so on. In last week's video, I have showed you how to use this specific meta field in order to insert size charts inside of your product pages. So if you want to know more, make sure to check my previous video. After files, we move on to the measurement meta field. And this meta field allows you to add measurement for your products. If you click here on measurement, you can choose between weight, volume, and dimension. And it's also a text-based meta field. So let me show you, for example, if I'm choosing weight, I can click here on save. I have to name it first. When I go back to my products, I can add the weight of the product. Let's say, for example, 10. And here I can change the unit. Let me keep it as it is. Now, going back to my theme editor, I should be able to link back to this meta field. When I click here on this text block, I'm going to remove this. And as you can see, I can choose the weight. After the measurement, we have the number. It's a text-based 
meta field this means that you need to add a text block inside of your theme editor in order to link back to this meta field and when you click on it you can choose between integer and decimal after the number you have the rating and it's an obvious meta field after that you have the reference and this is one of the most useful meta fields let me show you under reference you can choose to have a page a product and a product variant as I told you before, in last week's video, I have showed you how to add size charts to your product pages. And in one of the options, I have showed you how to use this exact meta field. So you go in here and for example, you name this meta field maintenance guide. And you choose to keep it as a page. When you go, you go back to your products from here, you can pick one of your pages as the maintenance guide for this exact same product. You can use this meta field with a pop-up block and let me show you how. You go back in here to customize your theme. Here you click on add a block, you add a pop-up. And from here you link to your maintenance guide. Also you can use this meta field under the tab uh, section, you go in here you add a tab when you modify the options of this tab in here you can choose your new meta field this meta field is actually very helpful because it can help you to provide unique details about each of your products the next meta field i want to talk about is the text meta field and it's one of the most useful meta fields ever because you can use it everywhere you can customize everything on your product page related to titles paragraphs maybe descriptions and so on using this type of meta fields so in order to create this meta field you go in here and under text you can choose between single line text for headlines and multi-line text for paragraphs after creating this meta field, you just need to go back to your theme customization under product template and choose the appropriate meta field in the right place. So going back in here, let me call this one, for example, trial text. And let me choose it as a single line. Going back in here to my product page, for example, under text in here, I can, instead of linking to the vendor, I can, for example, link to the text I have created myself. So for example, it would be trial text. The same thing you have done to the single line text, you can do to the multi-line text. As I told you before, this meta field is very useful because you can literally use it everywhere, inside of product information, to add new sections, and so on. The final meta field I want to talk about is the URL and this one is used under the buttons and it's very useful also because you can use it to link to other pages on your store or maybe to other products so let me show you how you can use it from here you choose this type let's name it URL for example and let's save it going back to your online store in here under the section if I add for example image uh, with banner I can choose to give this button an appropriate meta field. So in here, I can choose the button link. And in this way, I will be in control over where I'm sending my customers after this page or maybe after this section. So uh, in addition to choosing the URL, from here, you can even choose the button label. So for example, let's say in one of your products, you want to link to your supplier, or maybe you want to link to a special page that shows your product material so you can create a, a button that has a meta field text and it has a meta field url and that's unique for each of your products you go there in here by choosing the title and you click on insert so as you can see you can do many and many things with these meta fields and if you want to know more about how to use them and how to profit from shopify 2.0 i highly recommend you to check my previous two videos on this youtube channel i will be linking to them in the description below and in here so you can check them out 
Thank you for watching this video. Before leaving, do not forget to like this video, to subscribe to my channel, and to hit the notification bell, and to sign up to my free workshop. Remember, in this workshop, I show you how you can create a sustainable, strong e-commerce business. So, if you want to create a business that's able to attract, convert, and retain your customers, sign up to my free workshop, and I'm pretty sure you will learn exactly how to do that. Remember, it's 100% free, and you don't need to pay anything. See you next week. Bye-bye.